master clocks at 730. Is it? Okay, seeing that it's 730, June 6, 2016, we're going to open the conservation hearing. For the present, Tim Stinson, Bill Forty, Richard Coons, myself, Frank Duggan. Um, first on the list, we are going to... Um, move to here from 300 Center Street. Yep. Um, now, uh, are you here for the um, Title V, or are you here because of the site visit that we had? Um... You introduce Both. yourself for the record? Yes. Sorry. Hi, I'm Chris October with Republic Services, uh, the current owner of 300 Center Street. Okay. Um, both, I suppose. I mean, okay. I don't know if the commission members knew, but I had a meeting with uh, Mr. Dugan yes. at the site mm -hmm. uh, uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, yeah. um, where we looked at the site and... Um, looked at the rear of the area there and, and, and you know, the, the fill that occurred. Uh, we had a couple of discussions about what a possible plan could look like and, um, you know, you had discussed um, that it's likely that the commission would like to have uh, bring a technical uh, consultant on. Yes. So, I, you know, you asked that in the email and, I, and, and wanted to give you guys an update where we've been for the last two weeks. So again, as you all know, we're, there's a lot of things swirling on above me. As I mentioned to you, I'm the, when it's all said and done and all vets out, I'm still the engineer and I'm the guy that's actually going to put it all together. Mm -hmm. But until the people above me kind of figure some of that stuff out, it's, it's kind of difficult for me to move. There's still discussions as to what is preferable for us, whether it's to proceed with the, the septic system or a combined effort or to separate them and do just get the septic done and, and then move on the, the rear in a separate entity and that's still to be vetted out. One of the things that we're struggling with is the timing of the fill. Um, we have a lot of different people that have a lot of different times. You would indicate I think a while back um, that you thought it happened at least five some odd years ago or something to that effect? No, I had discovered it um, approximately three to four years ago, just just by just by looking on Google Earth, and I really didn't um, I didn't inspect the site at that time. Okay. But I happened to be down there at one point on business on another you know on another matter, and I did happen to notice the you know the extenuating uh, amount amount of fill that had been taking place down there. So. so would the commission kind of agree that that's probably the first time you guys were aware of it four years ago, three years ago, four years ago? We have uh, we have aerial images dating back to 1992 showing that whole area being filled. Sure. No, I provided actually those aerial yeah. images. Right. So so that's <laughs> right. well as part of all this. Yeah. We put it all together. So I'm trying right. to figure out when you guys were actually aware, made aware of it. I mean, I gave you the images. Yeah. Based on the conversation we had. Right. But when well, we, it was it was brought to my attention when the um, when you came in with the RDA for the Title V, right? That's when it was brought, as far as I know. Yeah, and I had no, and I had no complaint. Okay. I had no complaint on it, so I never, I never pursued it. I brought it in front of the board because I was mm -hmm. not. First of all, I was not. I was down there on private business, so I, I didn't feel as though it was my right to, you know, bring it out in the open that sure. that there was a problem. So I knew at some point there would potential be, problem. Yeah, yeah. Okay. When so I, th I think I think at this point now we realize there has been filling, there has been a violation. Um, I think we stated at the last meeting we're more than happy sure. to keep these as separate issues. Yep. And you know I think at this point um, where you're not exactly sure we're not what you're doing. I think in the town's best interest, it would be um, we should issue an enforcement on the property so that we can have the two separate issues. We're going to have an enforcement for the filling, and we'll have we'll keep you know we'll uh, continue the 
request for determination on the Title V until you feel obligated to pursue. Okay. Unless you're willing to let us move in the direction of... Well, I think you know, the next step would be, in either event, would be for your consultant to provide us a proposal. I believe you stated that typically the applicant, you know, pays for the, the consultant. That's what the retainer was for. Yeah, so if, if, if there was a proposal that I had, if, like I think we stopped about at the end of our meeting, to um, either I would be willing to meet your consultant to get a scope, or if he wanted to uh, come at a different time, or whatever have you, or just provide a generic retainer. Mm -hmm. But I think I was waiting for, I think we, I think that little subtlety, I think we kind of messed up, because I was waiting, I was expecting a proposal okay. to wave to my team and say, listen, I mean, I pass along your, your intent or your hope yep. that there would be a consultant brought on board, but um, they, okay, they're wondering who's going to pay. So I was waiting kind of for a proposal. So like I said, I, I, I reiterate the offer. You know, if this consultant that you normally have wants to come to the site to kind of get an idea of the scope, I'd be happy to take them around. But I still would like to have, I think that's the next step, isn't it? Don't you, got, you guys want to? Well, here's the thing. We're, we're not going to design the compliance for you. The, the only thing that we're going to do is we're going to hire a consultant to determine right. the extent of the filling. Yep, okay? we talked about that. All right, so, okay. so that's the first thing. We don't know how much those services are going to be. He can't just come and give us a price. It's by the hour. If Let's just say you had to hire a mini excavator for a day to figure out where the soil yep. levels are, then that would be an additional charge on top of that. So, yep. so it's either you tell us what's down there, or we tell you what's down there, and then you you know because it's not like a bargain thing. It's it's kind of no no no. I know. It's, it's more it's more like what what it's going to take for you to be in compliance is is essentially the answer that what we want. You yep. know what I mean? We have to determine where that wetland line was. You're going to restore it back to where that original wetland line is. I don't think that we'll make yep. it clear of the buffer zone, but yep. but certainly we want the compensatory. So what we did, so what we discussed was uh, while we're on site is either some cores or shovels. Hopefully not a full excavator, but mm -hmm. if need be, it could be a mini or whatever. But doing some test bits along the edge, that southern edge, yes. to do that. So mm -hmm. we talked about that. So we could either do that in the presence of your technical to kind of do this. Mm -hmm. if that's Yeah, I mean, that's fine. So, so you know, there's services related to determining what has been filled down there and, right. and what you need to do to be in compliance yep. what will be the only charges. So... It's basically his time. If you want to arrange for the borings uh, by another company and take care of those, we're, we're certainly willing to work with you. But we want to move it forward toward compliance, whichever oh, I, way. I know you do. I, know yeah. you do. So. I would just, I would just, again, I, I don't. Again, there's, there's a lot. It's not that I don't want you all to think that we haven't discussed it several times in the last two, three weeks. It's just mm -hmm. the, there's all because it's not just the, the seller we bought it from is the person who's is is it, we're not sure if that was the person that actually owned it at the time of the filling. So you're going back. So I don't really think it matters because the on the current property owner is the one, regardless of what business no, deal I, you I have. Understand. Regardless of what business deal you have, it doesn't matter who did it. The, the point is that the violation exists. So we, yeah. we don't care. That's not our concern. Our concern is getting nope, a weapon back. So, oh, yeah. so. And I appreciate all all yeah. the patience you provided us to uh, this point. So uh, and, and we're going to continue with that. And we're we we want to move it forward. Absolutely. With, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. So, so the proposal you're looking for is basically we will give you an hourly rate, we will ask for a retainage, and then whatever portion is not used will be returned to you once the site work is done. Perfect. So long as I have a piece of paper. That's yeah, we, we will. Yeah, he'll provide paper, you wait. with a bill, and it'll it'll uh, you know the t and again he works on our behalf because we don't have Absolutely. an agent. So yep. that's essentially what it is. It's, a, it's an agent in a private sector Very that, that we're allowed to. Mm -hmm. Retain not, the services of not unusual. So, Absolutely. so with a with a two thousand dollar retainer, we we would return whatever funds are left over. Absolutely. Yeah. And and again, again, I don't. I, I apologize for yeah. the delays. It's been discussed several times, as well as do we want to have it singular or separate? Mm -hmm. uh, that's actually recently become a a a key point. Do we want to continue forward with the septic, or do we want it separated? And I think we're close to resolution on that. Um, but I don't still have an answer for you. Okay. Well, at this point, I think uh, you guys want. You know, uh, that's something that we should um, discuss whether or not we want to do an enforcement on the filling and, and treat this as two matters, which would be, in my opinion, a, a simpler for us to treat them as two matters. A request for 
the Title V um, and it would be a full notice for the uh, remediation. So a negative or determination for the septic with conditions, I suppose? And yeah, we would condition that if we were, right, if we right. would approve it, yep. And then an enforcement order saying come in with an NOI for the rear. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's how we'd like to go, but we'd like to have an assessment as to how much is actually there before we sign off on that. Do you think that that's on the Title V? Yeah. I mean, should we should we have the assessment before we say okay, we'll we'll get because we we need to we need to figure out what's wrong over there first, and then they can file a plan. They can have plenty of time after to, but but I think we want this information before we release this request for determination. We can treat it as se separately. I well, that's why, that's why I'm thinking that the best thing for us to do would be just to issue an enforcement for the filling that's been done. And then we can treat that as a completely separate matter. Yeah, the septic's up front on Center Street, essentially. It's totally, the yeah, it's, the they base. are yards it's, and yards yeah, and yards. There's, there's so the board use. doesn't have any problem with re releasing that as a separate request for determination without that information being at least somewhat, you know, in, in the public eye. You know, I, I don't I don't ever recall issuing an okay for one thing on a piece of property that has this much violation. And I just want the board to understand that, you know, it's going to be, you know, catch me if you can. That's nothing personal against you. Okay. This has been my experience. Okay? Totally. I'll, I'll totally once, the only thing that we have on the table right now is your approval for and, your and, and, and along those lines, if you were to give me to your next meeting just a little bit more, I may be able to help. Give you a preferred choice. If you can that give matters. us a plan, if you can just give us a plan, say, all right, listen, here's what we're going to do. You know, if, so, right. Let's just say that, okay, if you approve this request for determination, we will have test borings for you and we will have an idea as to how much fill we got to remove before you sign off. I'd be comfortable with that, at least knowing how much is there. Because to me, I don't see us getting any, any you know, I mean, I mean these guys want to pass papers on their property and down the road they go. And, and whoever's problem it is, is not going to be, it's going to be our problem. Continue. Well, ultimately, it would be the, the new owner's um, obligation to, to um, file the notice and to uh, bring it back, remediate and bring it back well, to... Well, the, the only other thing I'm going to say about that is that if we do that, we should record, have it recorded at the registry deeds, okay? That's what I, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Then it's an open public notice that yep. it's an enforcement order. Mm -hmm. It's buy it beware. The people that are buying the property know they're buying a property in violation, and I'm fine with that. The, the town's attorney can, can file that, mm -hmm. and if we need to discuss it with him in executive session, then we can do that too. But, but we still would need to, before he can issue that, we still need to have a consultant look at the property. Absolutely. You know, um, so. All right. Okay, so uh, do we want to continue this till the next meeting? Yeah, that's fine. I mean, two more weeks, and okay. hopefully I'll have your answer. That's fine. No, that's fine. I'm just trying to map out a future for this so we can. I know, I know. You know I want to get I, you I, on your way. And, you know? and my, my, not speaking for the company, my personal preference would be to wrap it all in one, like you're thinking. Mm -hmm. And that way it's cleaner. Generally speaking, companies, companies don't like enforcement orders. Mm -hmm. So it would be cleaner if I could give you a plan and as part of this thing over here, the septic, yep. we're going to do this blah 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 on the front. And then you condition it as such and we all go on a way it's much cleaner, blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. That's the way I would do it. But there are a whole host of other people at the yep. table well above me that are sitting there trying to figure all these things out. I understand your point. You want to get this moving along. Mm -hmm. I get it. And I will reiterate that to my to my uh, group. Okay. We, we just we don't care about the rush. We just want the best plan possible. So moving forward, we get our the plan. That, I think the plan that that we discussed is 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 ultimately what's going to occur. I understand that once it's all figured out where it goes, you do the test pits. You got a line. Once you got your line, then we put together for a couple minutes. We do or a couple of days or weeks or whatever it is. Get together a plan. We show you the plan. This is what we're going. It's exactly what we discussed. Yes. We're going to give you some back. Mm -hmm. We're going to do stabilize the thumb. We're going to do a swale. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. It's so, and I have a plan kind of in my mind, and we discussed it. And and if anyone wants to come to the site I, individually, I can show you if, if that's a lot at all. But I can show you already what I've envisioned. He's already seen it, mm -hmm. and but to his point, 
No one's really going to sign off on it until we have technical people kind of review it all together. Okay, sure. I that's, get that's all what that. I'm looking for. I get yeah. all that. Yes. So, and, and, and ultimately, once the handcuffs are off, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, okay. But I just, there are certain things going on because of multiple people at the table and sellers and things like that. All right, right but you just have to understand that we are here to find resolution. To Absolutely. Them. As, and, and unlike, uh, we're a big Fortune 500, we ain't going anywhere. We just bought the place, so, and, uh. Compliance is very big, and that's one reason why it's taking so long because yeah, we take it very seriously. Okay. Mm -hmm. We are not going to walk away and leave us in the lurch. On your septic system, that's what started this whole thing. Yeah, right. right. What What is the condition of the existing now? I mean, I'm just thinking a week from now, is it going to be sewage overflowing up there? No, it has a lot of pitch. What it, it, it actually it 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 passed. Um, I believe it. It's not that it's not failing into that into the into the yard or into the pipe. That's why it's gone on for years. But what's going on is the system as designed would not comply with today's Title V regulations, which you'd have to do. So it failed because it doesn't comply with today's regulations. If one of them may have accessible, whatever it is, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But it's right. it's non-compliant. Is there so. a plan to increase the uh, flow and usage in the building? Is that one of the reasons why you have to upgrade No, it? we have to upgrade it because we just because that was part of the deal. We, yeah. When we did the Title Five accept, it failed. Yeah. So we just said, you guys get to bring the compliance, and they just okay. said, all right, we'll, we'll, okay. we'll do a compliance. And actually, they, actually, they did. We put it into compliance, and we took it off the top. I think yeah. that's what we did. Okay, so right. it's so your request to continue for two more request for the determination. Yes. <laughs> okay. For now. Yeah. Okay. And I'll come back Second. in two weeks. We have a motion. Two weeks? Yeah, that's a motion. Continue. Second. 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 All in favor? Two weeks? Yep. Uh, uh, three. It will be <coughs> June 29th. June 29th. June 27th. June 27th. <laughs> See you then. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Take it easy. Sorry. Okay, next on the list we have. That was 300 Street, right? 300, yes. Um, an RDA Keolis purple line right of way. team's been out there already on this particular line and verified the existing delineation is that that was submitted five years ago. There are no changes proposed to the delineation. Um, I'll take a few minutes to kind of explain what we're doing out there. Um, a lot of people take comfort in finally figuring out that we're not just indiscriminately spraying, but really it's more of a, well, Defined system. I like to pass these books out. They've got some great pictures of the equipment that's used. Thank you. Um, that picture that I flipped to there that shows you the extent of our spray pattern. And because the entire right away in Holbrook is defined as a sensitive uh, zone, either one or the other, that pattern that you see there is the only pattern sprayed in the, in the town. It is 10 foot either side of center line of track, so it's a 20 foot wide pattern. The rights of way management regulations require us to keep a 10-foot uh, buffer to that pattern. 
what you see here on the map, yellow zones, there are a couple of culverts, and there are three or four areas where wetlands have encroached on the right of way, and we've had to uh, designate areas as no spray. Those yellow zones are no spray. That's where wetlands, sensitive areas, water over wetlands, rivers, riverfront areas, stuff like that, are, well, not riverfront area, but rivers themselves, are within 10 feet of our pattern. The blue zones that you see uh, identify that there are wetlands in sensitive areas within 100 feet of our pattern, but not within that first 10. So that's what restricts us to that 10 foot either side of center line. Because we can still maintain the 10 foot buffer, but we wouldn't be able to spray brush or anything because we'd be encroaching upon that and we wouldn't be able to maintain the buffer. So it also requires our use of uh, material to be off sensitive area materials, which is uh, <coughs> maintained by DAR, Department of Agricultural Resources. Uh, this year's chemical, and what it has been mostly, is a glyphosate derivative, basically Roundup. It's actually called Aquanine. Um, its inclusion on the sensitive area material list means that it's used at its lowest labeled rate to be effective. Um, and then <coughs> beyond that, it actually restricts us to only one application per calendar year, the light blue. As you get to the dark blue, which is protection for the interim wellhead protection areas around those town wells, um, whether those are active or not, doesn't really matter, it's there. So we protect it with our dark blue zone, which is everything I just explained, except it extends our period, we're only allowed to apply it every 24 months. So that's my basic spiel, I don't like to go too much further unless you guys have questions. So the hatched area is what, um, is that natural heritage protection or is it? Natural heritage is not... It's not anywhere on that map? It's not on the right of way in New York and, and what's this hatched area here? This is natural heritage. Oh, it is. Okay. That would be. All right. uh, the uh, pink hatching yep. is the IW, or is a DEP approved zone 2. IWPA is the just pink circle. Okay. And that's all stuff we get and download from Mass GIS. They maintain and uh, update for water protection, wells, wellheads, all of that. Have you identified vernal pools on this plan? Uh, certified vernal pools are identified in the um, the little green dots okay. all over the place. Yeah, one right next to um, so they are identified, um, but there aren't any along the right way. We're dealing mostly with wetlands and water over <coughs> Okay, so you're not at least within 100 feet of vernal pool anyways, right? Right, and that actually carries with the same protection as anything wetland or water. Right. There's no... It's all considered wetlands. It's just mm -hmm. those are the certified ones out there. Mm -hmm. And this is, like I said, my team's been out there. They were on this particular line three weeks ago to verify and update the markings. What we have is a permanent marking system in the field that is uh, it's a stripe of paint, both on the tie, mm -hmm. on the web of the rail, on the track yeah. blade, something. You know, make sure if they go through and change a tie, you still have that mark on the rail. So. I guess I don't have any other questions. Is this permit cover trimming as well, Pony? No, that was approved with our BNP. Okay, so, so that's all set. set. That's all set. So just this is just this for is her side. This just for right. This is to allow any anyone here at the at the town level to identify any areas they think may or may not have been identified incorrectly. Okay. So just to make sure I understood you, as the truck's rolling along and it gets to this no spray area, there's marking right there on the tracks. Right. There's a permanent yellow mark on the track. It says stop, and when they can start up again. Right, yes, and we're uh, obviously, um, and when it comes to these areas, we're incredibly conservative because that's just a random spot on the track out there. So we, we measure as best we can with our aerials and then go out, find that spot, and walk 50 state paces or so in the other direction. Just this, to make sure. this area here with all the growth. <laughs> that's not, not in your town. <laughs> but this area with all the growth, can you tell me if, if that's in this zone right here? Is that what we're talking about? No, that area there, I mean, that, this is. This is not a commuter road. Oh, it's not. Okay, I'm like, wow, that's a bad I, I used to do a lot of work for freight railroads in the same area, yep. and um, you know, that's kind of my uh, 
this is what happens if you don't spray for a long yeah, time. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. You'll get into my area in yeah. the back there where uh, the train derailed. <laughs> right. okay, so this isn't actually pictures of No, no, no. This is more representative for everyone to understand what we're doing out there and what we're trying to mm -hmm. protect against. And how many men are working in the operation when they go out in the spring? Just one guy in the truck? Or? There's a guy in the truck. Uh, Keyless staffs usually a person in their environmental department to ride along and help identify uh, the zones as well as any wet ditches. I mean, track drainage is not identified as wetland, but if it were wet at the time, we're not allowed to apply via the labeling of the product. So this year they've hired an environmental scientist. I don't know, he may have been down here. His name's Dave Gordon. He does a lot of their culvert replacement, uh, RDAs and NLIs. Um, but he'll be riding along with the truck to help identify the zones and identify any areas along the track that might be holding water at the time of the application. Right, so it's not just, not just the truck driver? No, no. And uh, they do have a pilot vehicle out in front, obviously, to help with getting track time and everything and help identify any zones that he sees as they go. So, and, that's a, that's a pretty standard procedure. Actually, you can see in this picture here, the pilot vehicle was up ahead. Mm -hmm. um, but this is a pretty standard procedure, not only on the, uh, the commuter lines, but throughout the state on the rest of the freight lines as well. RWC is actually out of Westfield, so they're a local company. They are you know, all across the country, but their uh, operation out of Westfield handles Massachusetts specifically because these regulations are specific to the Commonwealth. Mm -hmm. so. They, they staff pretty familiar drivers with the uh, Gregs because they uh, they know how sensitive it can be. Is, is this what they did five years ago? The same outfit? It's the same outfit. Actually, RWC has been spraying this right of way in all of the commuter systems since it was Amtrak. So they've been on, they've had a contract with uh, the system operators for at least 15 years now. Any other questions? Mm -hmm. And what does the 15 and 16 refer to? Those are mile posts. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Want to make the motion, Joe? Um, do we already have this open? Yeah, this yes. is open. It's already open. This is pretty yeah, easy. Easy. All right, so we just got a motion to close and then a motion to vote. Right. So we want to. So, first of all, I, I move that we um, close the hearing. Second. Motion to close. Second. All in favor? That's unanimous. All right. I move that we issue a positive, no, a negative determination. Or negative three. Two. Negative three. I would say two. Which two? Actually, two is the work described in the request is with an area subject to protection under the Act, but will not remove, fill, dredge, or alter that area. I Said work does not require the filing of a notice of intent. That yeah, sounds right. Three would be the work described in the request is within a buffer zone. Yeah. But we've got some right, so there's area no subject, right? Yeah. yeah. So then that the two would cover both, right? Yes. Sure, yeah. So I move that we issue a, a negative determination number two. Second. Motion made, second. All in favor? Motion unanimous. You get to get home for your favorite show. Whatever that is. <laughs> My home's in Maine. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? So that'd be at 11 o'clock. <laughs> Are you going back home tonight or are you going to place down here? No, no, I'll go back home. I've been working. I do a six hour day and then I come down and do meetings and site visits and stuff in the yeah. afternoon. Well, that's not too bad. Yeah, keeps me busy and they pay. So. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't care. Right, take care. Thank you. So, um, where's the signature page on No, this is no, this the old one. Yeah, that's I okay. Have, I, I just know. opened it just so we get a reference. Oh, that. I put some in there. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, they run right behind your waist, yeah. right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Plus he was hunting rabbits. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah it sounds like pretty hard, yeah. especially if they're going to have an environmental guy along. Yeah. yeah. I think they, they're they're mandated to, yeah, they're mandated to do that. Yeah. Okay. Um, moving on, we will um, go to an informal hearing. Uh, continue the, of the enforcement order on 6 George Road. Um, I had sent an email to you this afternoon. Our okay. engineers are in need of an extension. Okay. Um, so they're not ready to present. So they need um, an extension until the next meeting. Okay. Do you know what you're going to be doing? Are you going to remove what's there? Or are you going to try to keep what's there? And um, I'm leaving it up to them to give me the best course of action. So They haven't on, told you yet though? No. So um, besides what I've, I've discussed with you the last time we were here, mm -hmm. um, and I believe you had called them. Yes. Um, so based on their recommendation, then that's how we're going to move forward. Okay. Who's the engineer? Um, uh, DR. Excuse me? And Springs. Yeah. Uh, DR. Okay. Um, I did speak with them. Um, they were well aware of what the board was requesting. So, uh, did they give you any time frame as to how long it would take them to have this prepared? Um, they was gonna text you, or email you today, just to let you know how much of an extension that they would need. So, um, by this weekend or by Friday, I should have an idea of how much more time that it would take or what they're gonna do specifically. Okay. Um, well, are they going to need more than the three weeks to to our next meeting? When after the next three weeks, when's the next meeting? The twenty ninth. Twenty ninth of June. Mm -hmm. And then after June, when is the next? Three meeting? weeks after that, we have to meet. Every, we're required to meet twenty one days. It's July. 18. Okay, so can it be for July 18? That way they have ample amount of time to do whatever it is that. Um, well, I think it's the board's. Uh... So we just we took a vote back, and I think it was March to um, or April to issue fines if we didn't have some kind of plan in front of you. Now we're going to have to extend that because the board did take a vote, and the fines were supposed to be effective that week. So I wasn't here at the last meeting, so the fines have been in effect because we didn't vote to, to reverse them. Um, right now we have fines. Fines are piling up on that. There, there was, if you recall, the last time your attorney was here, we took a vote and we said that if you didn't have a plan and a you know and a remediation, then the fines were going to stop on that day. And then we came, then we came with a plan. However, it was not satisfactory to the board. So there was no plan. Was there a plan? Yes. You yeah, were not there was no one plan. It was just a, a layout. Of, it was just a drawing. It was, it was a just plot a drawing. Plan. So they had something? Okay. Yeah, well, well, they had a plot plan. All right. Yes. There was no measurements, no control, uh, no or anything. It was just a. Okay. I don't mind. Yeah, you were here for that, I think. I don't think I was, no. I'm just trying to bring back what yeah. the board voted on. And yes. did we did we determine that she met that deadline and that the fines were not going to issue at that point? Yeah, that was in, was, was the, so it was the following three weeks, right? It was the following three weeks after you brought in a plan. Yes. And it wasn't satisfactory to the board. Okay, all right, that's fine. We don't have to reverse that decision then because if the fine if, if the fines were not issued that night then that would have we would have had to say something up to that point. Okay. So mm -hmm. so we're still not finding her yet. Right. So then we can simply continue. So so I guess we can continue. So what was the next date? July? Yeah, choice the 29th of the 18th, July 18th. So July 18th, that way there is no... So hopefully June there. 27th or July 18th. June 29th. 27th is Monday? Or June yes. 29th. Okay. 14. Yeah, we're, coming, we're coming up on the mark. So June, June 27th, is, that should be fine because yeah. he already has everything. They should, I mean, they have everything to actually give me 
planned on an answer as far as what you're going to is, do. Is it your intent to keep what you have there, or is it your intent to remove it? That's that's kind of what we want to know. Yeah, yeah. If there is a violation to begin with, so that's where that's Do we where have an enforcement order? Yes. There is a violation. We have determined that there's a violation. It's up to you to prove to us that there's not. And so that's what they're doing right, right okay. now. All so right. So we're not. We've already made that determination. There is a violation there, and you're supposed to give us a plan to exactly. Remediate so that. what they're doing is to make sure that, based on the previous um, um, plan, that I am not in any violation. And then my intent, what I want to do, they will also put that into effect and present it to you guys and present it to the board. So you're filing a notice of intent? Yes, that's what they do. Okay. Okay. So by that time. a driveway okay. and whatnot. So right. they're coming forward with a notice of intent. So. Um, All right. So you'll have the engineer contact us and tell us what he's going to do and what. He's right? going to send um, Dugan oh, sorry, yeah. um, an email okay. to let you know exactly. I mean, okay. Give you a plan. All right. So That's by the next well, meeting, he we'll should, have, yeah, he should present it to. Ignis so Scott. by the next meeting, you'll have a notice of intent filed. Yes. Do you hear that right? So. Yeah. So, so that means the application will have to be in. The you know I mean you have to apply to the board for this. This is so really okay so. Uh, well, just let's like giving us a plan. You have to put in an application. There's a fee associated with it. Yeah, there, there's, but you know, an engineer plan is required. So that was the only thing that I was informed to bring in the engineer plan. Right, but if you're filing if a you're notice of intent, okay, to do additional work there, expanding your driveway and doing whatever else you want to do, you, you can discuss that with your engineer. Okay. He will have to file a notice of intent. Okay, so then for the next meeting, we won't do any um, notice of intent. We'll just focus on the enforcement that's fine. issue that we have. That's fine. We can do that. Yeah, that's fine. We can keep it separate. I just okay. I just want to know what, what your plan is. Because, yeah, I mean, I, now that you're saying all of that, I'm like, I don't have that time to do right. all of this. Yeah. So I want to make sure that we are addressing the issue at hand, which is the enforcement. Okay, so right. let's see the plan at the next meeting, okay. and then we can go from there, and, and uh, we'll, uh, if you want to move on with the notice of intent to whatever your plans are with expanding the driveway or changing whatever. Okay. We can deal with that on the notice of intent. But we want to see the plan for the... What's been done. Uh, right, for the uh, enforcement order. Okay. Okay? All right. On the 29th, right? So 29th. 27th. 27th. Oh, I'm sorry. So I can I move we continue this um, hearing. Yeah, enforcement order. Enforcement hearing. Yeah. Um, until June 27th. Second. Motion made. Second. All in favor. That's unanimous. Okay. We'll Thank see you on the 27th. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Is there anybody else in the room? <laughs> Mr. Uh, Sidoff. Hold, 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 hold. Uh, one, one second, please. Um, so, um, can we have a motion to continue the enforcement order on 2 Phillips Road? So moved, Mr. Chairman. Motion made. Second. All in favor? That's unanimous. Um, we'll move to an informal hearing, Weymouth Street, Village Housing 55 Plus, Mr. Sidha. Yes, sir. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, if I may correct you, informal discussion, no hearing. Oh, yeah. formal discussion. Okay, informal discussion. How are you, Mr. Sidoff? Long you, time. Thank you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. How you doing? So this, this property, part of it, it came in front of the board in 2002. An order of condition was issued and which, nothing was done. Which part point. of it? So this part. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Just the power lines, right? Yep. This buffer will lose it. This is the pole this, line. This is the buffer yeah. line. The, not, the, not the main. Oh, this is right. the one that runs parallel. Yeah, okay, so that's the sub-transmission line. Right? And now I come up with the project, which is uh, everything what I'm doing is out, out of uh, buffer zone. Everything what I did here, uh, I'm away from the wetland and I'm away from 100 feet buffer zone. This is, this is the only part here, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm out of buffer zone, sir. So this is this all is in that big rocky, that big piece of ledge up there? This is the buffer zone is running, sir, here. Buffer zone is running. I'm out of buffer zone, sir. Mm -hmm. The reason I'm here, sir, today is just to find out what paperwork I have to file, in case if I have to file, because this this piece was already held in order of condition, and I'm running the driveway in between, sir. Do you, did you extend that order of conditions? Because it's expired. I have not done anything yet, sir. I'm just... Yeah. Today I'm right. So you'd have to renew this notice of intent. You'd have, have to, to yeah. You'd have to renew that order of conditions. Okay. Or at least apply for it. You know. So what should I say? Uh, I should file. Um, you could probably. Uh, you'd have to check the wetland lines to make sure they hadn't moved. Yeah. Um, and and just basically just go through the motions over again on this. Um, so what what should I call that uh, when I file uh, it? It's I mean, order? I would because because the whole property lies within a buffer zone. I I think it should be a notice of intent for the entire thing. I mean, it's all one project now, right? It's going to be one project, but yeah. everything out of the buffer zone, out of the conservation jurisdiction. Yeah, but you're not showing any details here. No, see, this is the preliminary right. Yeah, yeah, right, right. So, so you, there's obviously going to be some clearing around the building. So a portion of this is going to end up in the buffer zone, even though the buildings are not. The 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 development and the clearing is still going to be. So, so. so I'm I'm away from the buffer zone. No clearing, not touching the buffer zone. But you would have to to get the buildings in. Okay, but yeah. but this is a this is an estimated line. I'm assuming. I mean, there's no yes, wetland flag numbers or anything. So you, so you're taking this off of no, satellite I, imagery. I understand. Today, I'm here only just to find out what paper. Right. So so we're flag. telling you that the whole thing needs a notice of intent, so okay. that you'd have to have plans, you'd have plans, you know, wetland delineation. A project this size should have an ANRAD, which is a, an abbreviated notice of intent. Storm okay. water. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to file a storm water plan. Okay. Yeah, because it's no, over 40,000 square feet. You file with the complete detail fi filing? And yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it'll go. It, it's it's just a matter of making sure that all the technical information is there. You know? Okay. So it would be a full notice of intent. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Only, only thing is which I'm disturbing, sir, that coming up from this mm -hmm. and driveway. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you've got a buffer zone that runs all the way through here as well. I mean, there's obviously this, there's a lot of development here. How many, how many units have well, you got? Plus, you're going to, I mean, the drainage for, for yeah. these parking lots is yeah. going to be substantial, roof yeah. runoff and whatnot, right. so it's going to impact I, the yes, wetlands. I believe the engineers are saying that they're going to put the drainage under the parking lot. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. storm center, yeah. That makes the most sense, and you don't have the impacts, yes. yeah. Yeah, so I mean, if it, the less impacts on the wetland, the easier the notice of the temple will okay. be, you know. Now, um, what will happen is, because we don't have an agent anymore, um, when you file this notice of intent, yeah. we're going to require a fee in addition to that for the consultants, okay? okay? We'll have a consultant work with you through this to make sure that all the calculations are correct, that the wetland line is where it's supposed to be, and all that stuff. So okay. there'll be a retainer, and then we'll return whatever money we don't use, you know? Okay. So that'll be a couple thousand to begin with, and then we'll let you know. How much would be the fee set up, please? Well, I mean, we'll start off with a couple thousand. You'll just give us a retainage, and then... If we need more, we'll let you know. It all depends on how well the pro the project is constructed. If if he if you bring everything in the first time, he looks at it, he's walked through, he, he realizes it's okay. There, there might be some additional work once the project starts because we'll need him to walk you know uh, you know walk the site a couple times, make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be. So I, I don't really have an estimate, as to, but it's okay. not going to be tens of thousands. I can tell okay. you that. No, no, it it might be a few thousand. It might be, but probably you know I mean I, I don't know for sure. But, I mean, I would imagine it would be under five for the project oh, size. Yeah, yeah, it'd be under five. Okay. So so, yeah. so that might be the worst. And that yeah. depends. Like I say, Mr. Sinat, if, I'm sorry. Um, like I say, it, it depends on how well the plan comes in and how, how well the calculations are done and how meticulous the, the engineer that you hire yeah. is going to be. Because all he's going to do is make sure that your engineer is in compliance with what exactly. he needs, you know. Okay. Yeah. So, so that's, that's really so good. So it means I will start with the notice of intent and then go up. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, I would say, and if, if there's enough, it looks like there's enough wetland here to do what's called an in rad. You've done that before. Yes. Yeah. Right. So, abbreviated this, notice of delineation. Yeah. Okay. On this piece of property. It's already been approved. One there's already price. been an in rad, but it, yeah. it's, again, it expired. No, no, right. Yeah. yeah. But, he, you know, you can do the whole property now as one. One part. Just, one yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, though once we agree on a wetland line, the project goes a lot easier. So, it's, it's kind of a good way to get, you know, right where your wetlands are, because you you might have gained more upland compared to what you had before. Who knows? You know. Okay. You know what I'm saying. So mm -hmm. it might be worth doing first. You know, and then and then after you have a delineated wetland line that we all agree on, then you take your plan, you superimpose it on that, and then it makes it a lot easier because we don't have to go back and look at the wetland line. We already know where it is. You know. So, sure. Sir. You, you okay. know what I mean? Yeah. So well, it all I, depends on which way you want to go. Mm -hmm. Either way is fine. So we probably um, would have to have. Um, more than likely, an engineer check the storm on accounts on this. Yeah, on yeah, that, yeah. So that'd be part of the consultant fee. Yeah, would have Sean Hardy just look mm -hmm. at that. But, but again, that that whole thing it's probably going to be under five. I, yeah. I can't okay. see it being more than that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. whatever we don't use is return. Oh, I yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. That's that's good. Yeah. Four fifty-five. Four fifty-five for the other. So pro approximately three hundred units. Oh my God! That's, <laughs> all, that's a lot <laughs> of units. Three hundred. Three hundred. Wow. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. You're looking forward to seeing the plan. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Very good. All right, Mr. Sadat. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Nice to see you. And then have a nice day. Thank you. Have a good evening. All right, you too. Thank you. No football, huh? Uh, no, that's it. <laughs> good night. Take care. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Nice to see you. All right, we'll see Bye -bye. you. Good evening. Well, okay. Last but last, no, last but least, uh, Notice of intent DEP 1820484 and 0485. Um, order of conditions we closed the hearing at the last meeting. Um, we just have to vote to issue and sign. And so let's start with uh, DEP 182. Is this new? This DEP? No, that's the same as the 0484. is um, I believe this is going to be the uh, road work oh, there's two. that's right one for yes. the road and one yes for the road. this is the road yeah. and then we have another one for the remediation okay Ready? <laughs> June 6th, take two. Roll them. Okay, so do we have a motion to issue with a special order? I'm not going to say anything because I wasn't here for the hearing, so I'm going to just abstain. Yeah, so we have is just the specials? No, it's a regular order conditions regular. With, the, with the special Yeah, order regular order conditions. with the special. Um, yeah, I don't think we, um, you want to look at the plan here? Yeah. So, uh, the only thing you they, didn't have they, anything they, particular that we needed to add for this thing. No, they, they were just going to set up a, some extra uh, protection on the uh, intermittent stream crossing, but that's actually pipe, so they're going under the pipe with the sewer main that they're bringing in, so. All right, so then I move that we issue um, standard order of conditions with attached, the regular attached special conditions for DEP number 182 Zero four eight four. Second. Motion made. Second. All in favor? One abstention. That is four in favor, one abstention. Okay. Mr. Forty abstain. 
In case you don't know. She's got to watch my TV show. She, uh, she needs a little building upon the 101 a little bit. I don't curl up, curl up with a glass of wine and you know what I mean? It's like math, it's like masterpiece then. <laughs> You'll know everything you need to know about the building code. Is this a standard form that the town has for putting up the agenda? I mean, that's the one I right. I got from <laughs> Ivy. Okay, because amended is misspelled. Really? Wow. It's amended. Oh, really? Wow. So I thought it was causing me that I could amend it because I did have to amend it. Right, because it, it, it looks like it's a standard letter. Yeah, yeah but we just add whatever so when we have amended, we have yeah, amended. That's what it is. Amended. I'm sorry. Amended. Like reprimanded. I've never looked at it before. Who knows? It could have been there forever. It's probably the illegal meat. Is that a blue pen? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So this is the. Most of us black one? No. No, no. This was the fill here. The one by the control black and black side in black. This is the remediation. Yeah. Oh, it'll actually be better. Oh well, yeah, okay. I remember seeing that. But the problem is looks like uh, the original from the Xerox. Boy, they are really surrounded with well. Thanks yeah. very much. You I got it. <laughs> what are you asking him for? Those two are decided by. <laughs> That's why I said it. That's all right. If there's one signature on there, it's fine. As long as we got one blue one. Yeah, as long as there's one blue one. So we're going to legitimize those. I just didn't want everybody to be a screw up. Was <laughs> <laughs> that the Frank? Hey, if you tell you to abstain, you're going to want to say Oh, I know. I, yeah, I should abstain from any other comments. Huh? <laughs> Raise your feet. Well, didn't abstain. Holy. Okay. Moving right. on. Uh, DEP 182. 0485. This is the remediation for the enforcement order. We have a motion to move. We issue a standard order of conditions with attached special conditions for. DEP 182-0485. 182 or 189? 182. 189, yeah. No, it's 22 Motion made? I second it. Second it. All in favor? Four in favor. One abstention. Stuff, you keep abstaining, you're not going to be able to sit back and watch Building 101 with a glass of wine. You're going to be abstaining. Masterpiece <laughs> theater. <laughs> I won't be able to text on my phone. Frank, you get five minutes before you go over the one hour limit. <sighs> you promised. Okay, so there's um, just a error on the time I had already pointed out to Agushka on the um, meeting um, of uh, May 16th. We opened right on time, didn't we? On yeah. Last yeah. meeting, it, it, yeah. it said 7.05, so right. it should be 7.30. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You corrected him. So. <laughs> I wasn't even here. That's how smart I am. 
<laughs> yeah, here it is right in. So Bill wasn't here, so we did nothing but talk about him the whole time, especially when the cameras went off. Does that make sense to you? Hi. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yep. It may not be clean way, but it'll be cleaner way. Cleaner than it was. Yeah. You know, no septic system anymore. Yeah. Did you see a crane fell this morning on Crane Street? Oh, no lie, in Braintree. A crane toppled over on Crane Street. Oh, was it Canton? I think it was, it was somewhere. Damn, in Braintree, right? Canton, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Nobody got their shed got destroyed. That's about it. Just Some irony. to be the owner of that crane. Yeah. Oh. oh, my God. Oh. I would not want to be that contractor. Yeah, so does it mean forced me or forced to me? Must be a force. Forced. With a D on the end of force? Forced, right? Forced. Yeah, with a D. No. Well, what grade is it? Uh, the very first 189-0484. Mr. James McDonald proposing the installation of a sewer. It's going to pressurize for me. Without the D? Correct. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I, I wasn't sure that's what I wasn't that. either. Yeah. So is it correct or not? Yeah. It's correct. Engineer Dice says it's correct. That's it. I'm going with the engineer's specification <laughs> on that. Alright. That'd be good for something. We're going to have a chance <laughs> to look at the minutes. Yeah, should that be same side instead of I city? believe same side. Yeah. Same side may transfer our front. Second page. On the same side rather than on the save side. You hit the oh, yeah. V instead of the yep. being treated in two. You got amended type right here. So. Okay, do we have a motion? All right, those, I move we uh, accept the minutes with those two um, changes. Did you get the time on the time. first page and the same side on the second page? Tim has a few as so why don't okay. we just make it as, as, amended. Amended. as amended? Motion made. Second. All in favor? That's unanimous. You got the 730 in the same on yours? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so give me yours then. Do we have any other motions? Motion to close the public meeting. Motion made. Second. Second. Second.